My prof, can we discuss some sleep habits that people have? Yeah, so short naps can certainly elevate tension and they can boost memory and coding for a bit. But, you know, if you take short nap, you get a short boost. You know, the, the thing is that if they're very short, the, the duration of the effect is, is limited. And then clearly in the evening, you can interfere in nocturnal sleep. And that's what's happening. I think that in lieu of getting not enough of nocturnal sleep, there should be some provisions to nap in the mid-afternoon. You shouldn't nap uh, late or later in the evening, um, like a few hours before bedtime, because that's known to uh, disrupt with nocturnal sleep and cause further disruption to your sleep cycle. There are a lot of tips in town about avoiding exercise, for example, before at night, but that's not correct. Um, there's, there's now new work to suggest that you can exercise even you know, shortly before bedtime. Just don't indulge in super competitive activities that keep you uh, up, you know, not because of the exercise, but because of other reasons like you feel that, oh, I should have done better, I should have played better in a game or something like that. 